Okay, in this InkShop tutorial, we're going to review the Select tool. So let's make a shape, and we'll make a rectangle. And then go ahead and hit the Select button here. The hotkey for that is F1. So if we go here and select another tool, and then hit F1, you'll reselect the rectangle. So you'll notice all these arrows surrounding the rectangle now. Now if we grab this arrow here on the right, we can adjust the width of the object. And then if you hold the shift button, you'll notice it'll adjust both sides now, not just the right. And that's the same for the height as well. And now I will hold the shift button, and you can see we're doing both. The corner node will adjust both the width and the height. And again, it's the same if you hold the shift button. Now if you just put the cursor over the rectangle and you see the hand here, you can drag the entire object around where you want to put it. Let's create a circle now and go ahead and select it at the top and then let's select the diagonal node here on the top left and you'll notice it's not keeping the aspect ratio here and you may want to do that. But if you want to keep the aspect ratio, you hold down the control button and move it to the size you want it. And you'll notice we're not losing the aspect ratio here no matter what size we put it at. Now if we click outside the select and you try to select it but you don't select it all, you'll notice it doesn't select it. So you have to completely surround the object in order for it to be selected. And that's the same for two images. So if we go halfway across the rectangle we'll notice it only selects the circle, but if we surround both completely, now both are selected. So that's how that works. Now let's select the rectangle, and if you hit the left click button again, this will allow you to rotate the image. So let's click on the bottom node here, and you can see we can skew it. You can also go horizontally here, and again vertically. So that's how that works. Now you will notice this point here in the middle. When we were doing our rotates, we were rotating against that point. If you want to move that point and rotate against a different area, you just pick it up, move it, and now you'll see we're rotating against that new point. And now you can see we're rotating against the point on the left where we moved it. Now move the point back into the middle and if you grab this point on the top right here and hit the shift key you'll notice it's moving it against this opposite side so that's what the shift button does you can see it how it works if we go from the side so this could be helpful if you want to do all kinds of things you can you know combine shapes and rotate them the way you want it so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I will see you guys in the next Inkscape tutorial